My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, on the 3rd of November, we celebrate the Feast of St. Martin de Porres, one of my most favorite saints. The reason is that he experienced bitterness in life, rejection from his own beloved mother. But instead of becoming bitter, he used his experience to have to help those who have bitter experiences in life. He was born on the 9th of December, 1579. His father was a nobleman from Spain who came to the New World, Latin Americas, in search of fortune. His mother, Anna, was a slave woman who was freed. She was exceedingly beautiful and was an entertainer by profession, going from place to place. They met, fell in love, and got married, and had Martin as their first child. Two years later, Martin's sister, Joan, was born. However, to marry a black colored woman was not favorable, favorable at that time to climb the ladder of success. Besides that, both the children took the color of their mother. So John de Porres left the family and went his way, though he truly loved Anna. Anna was bitter. He saw Martin as the cause of her misfortune and ill-treated him beating him and not paying attention to him. Instead of becoming bitter, Martin was kind-hearted when his, when his mother sends him to the market to buy groceries. He would come back empty-handed, having given the money to the poor. One can imagine the anger of his mother. When he was around eight years old, his father came to visit and was impressed by his behavior, so he took both the children with him to Ecuador. There he taught them reading, writing, and counting. After two years, he brought back and gave Martin's sister, John, to his uncle and gave back Martin to his wife, Anna, with sufficient money for his further education to learn a trade. Martin wanted to become a doctor to help the poor. So he became an apprentice to a barber because at that time barbers were also doctors, surgeons. The master was not so much impressed by Martin. However, because of his dedication and hard work, he learned very quickly. Once when his master was absent, someone came with broken leg and he did the operation himself to the surprise of his master. So Martin became a doctor, a family consultant, and a chemist. He would help people, but he was also very prayerful and would never miss daily mass. When he was 15 years old, his father became the governor of Panama and he gave sufficient money for Anna to settle in life. This made Martin happy and was at peace. So what he did was to become a monk. So he approached the Dominican monastery and asked to become a lay servant there. Because of his skills, he was gladly accepted by the monastery as a servant. And he did menial jobs and was often humiliated because of his color. But he bore with great patience and humility. 
finally, after nine years, in 1603, he was accepted as a lay brother and was assigned the task of working in the infirmary and looking after the wardrobe and also taking care of the farm. Once the wardrobe was infested by the mice, so he caught one of them and met a promise with them that he would feed them every day provided he takes all his friends to the garden. That was done. Well, with humility and love, he served the poor, the needy. And when there was no place in the monastery, he would take the sick to his sister's house, who was by now married. And in that way, he spent his life serving the outcasts, the poor, the slaves. When he was 59, he was becoming frail. Just before his 60th birthday, on the 3rd of November, 1639, after receiving the sacraments, he breathed his last. He was canonized on the 6th of May, 1962, and was made the patron saint of the barbers, hairdressers, and also social justice. What we see in this great saint, Martin de Porres, is that though we experience bitterness in life, we can turn it that into something sweet, beautiful for others if we have God with us. Therefore, let us pray to him so that like him, we may use our difficult and bad experiences in life to understand and to love and care for others. God bless us.